In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly find the top and the bottom end values from a data. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technician, where you can find tips and tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Here is a sales data of a company. To find our best employee, all we need to do is to find the top sales value. So, to calculate that, it's relatively simple. So, let me put in cell C E4, top value. All we need to do is put the formula in cell F4 equal to max of the range C4 to C16. And that's it. It's 14,302, which is Karen. Similarly, to find our bottom value, All we need to do is to put min of again the same range selection C4 to C16 and it's easy. When we have to find only the top and bottom value, we can use the min and max function. Let's say we wanted to find our top 3 and bottom 3 values. How would we do that? It is going to be really tough to find using min and max. Excel has an inbuilt function to find these values. So let me put in cell E7 our top values for 1, 2 and 3 which is our top 3 values and let's find out our bottom 1, 2 and 3 values. So the formula which is going to give us the top nth value in Excel is called large. So all we need to do is put in cell F8 equal to large of the array. The array is going to be same from C4 to C16. And since we want to find the topmost value, we need to put the number 1. That it shows 14,302, which is same as the max value. If we want to find the second top value, we need to change the k parameter to 2, which will give the second largest value. Great. So now we can try to make a common formula. So let me just delete this again. And in cell F8, let's re-enter the formula equal to large of the array, which is going to be C4 to C16. Let's fix this by selecting and pressing F4. And now instead of the nth value, I'm going to put cell E8, which is the number 1. That's it. Now I can copy this formula to two cells down and I get the second and the third largest value. We can go all the way to nth largest value using this formula. Similar to the large formula, the counterpart is small to find the bottom most formulas. So all we need to do again is to do small. The array is again going to be C4 to C16. Let's fix it. And now the position, let's pick cell E30, which is one. So the bottom most value is 4568 which matches our min formula and you can just copy this formula over and this shows the second bottom value as 5531 which belongs to Mark and the third one is 6002 which belongs to Harry. Finding top and bottom values can be really helpful during analysis. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, ciao.